In this video, we will discuss about mini electron system and anti symmetry principle. First, let's see what is anti symmetry principle. Anti symmetry principle. According to the anti symmetry principle, the total wave function of a mini electron system. Many electron system is must be antisymmetric with respect to the exchange of coordinates and spin of electrons. That is the total wave function of a <coughs> mini electron system must be must be anti symmetric with respect to the exchange of coordinate and spin of <coughs> electrons this is the anti symmetry principle for any many electron system it may be molecular or <coughs> molecular system or atomic system this principle also known as pauli ex pauli's exclusion principle principle or indistinguishability principle distinguishability principle <coughs> now let's find out what is total wave function for a mini electron system for a mini electron system the total wave function consists of two part one is spatial part another is spin part that is for a mini electron system we can write for a mini electron system the total wave function is consists of two part one is spatial wave function another one part is spin function okay now let's see what is spatial wave part Let us consider a two electron system with electron one and two. Both the electrons are indistinguishable. Distinguishable. Therefore, we can write the special we can write the special wave function. Special part of the wave function is these are two special wave function for one electron for one electron. <coughs> okay. Since both the electrons are indistinguishable you have a two electron two may also occupy in this function that is you can write it is represented as psi one two if this is there psi since both the electrons are indistinguishable the total spatial wave function both the electrons are indistinguishable therefore a total wave function special wave function for the Schrodinger equation of the system will be linear combination of this two function that is we need to consider the linear combination of this two function in order to write the total special wave function of the system that is if we consider psi total wave function this will be the normalization constant linear combination of psi 1 2 plus psi 2 this will be symmetric or it may be right as 1 2 1 2 and this is theta 1 1 and this plus 
थीटा वन टू और थीटा टू वन दिस इज द लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन दैट इज सिमेट्रिक लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन एंड देयर विल बी एंटी सिमेट्रिक दिस इज द function now this spin wave function part of the spin wave function of the two electron system we have to find out this is spin part of the two wave function we know that electron have two type of two type of intrinsic spin this is plus minus plus up and minus up if it is represented as considered as alpha and it is beta <coughs> therefore for two for the two we have two in the indistinguishable electron therefore we can have for this two indistinguishable electron we may have four combinations that is for two to in this sorry in this thing we shuffle electrons for two we have four combinations we may have four combination of spin electron spin that is electron spin alpha and beta and these are this and if for one and two electron if both the electron if both the electron have the same spin that is alpha and alpha or beta or beta electron one and electron two for electron one and electron two both the electron may have the same spin and both the may <coughs> if the both the electron possesses different spin then the combination will be like this One electron may alpha and this will be like this. Mm -hmm. This is the normalization constant. Beta equal to these are the four combinations or spin of two electrons out of this four the first three will be symmetric and the last one will be anti-symmetric symmetric and it is triplet and it is anti-symmetric and singlet Now we have to consider, we have to calculate the total wave function. That is, we know that total wave function is spatial part and I of spin part. In the spin spatial part, we have two probable combinations. In the spin part, we have four combinations. If this two and four part is now Combine, we will get total of 8 probable combinations for psi total of the system. Now let's see the psi total of the system. Thus we have the two special wave function and four spin wave function as we have eight different kind of total wave function for the mini electron system we know that that is total will be psi spatial into psi spin first consider the symmetric part of psi spatial and 
this part this will be one arrangement since this part is symmetric and this part is also symmetric the total wave function will be symmetric again this is symmetric and the both the electron have the same spin this total wave function will also be symmetric similarly we may have both these wave functions are symmetric so the total wave function also be symmetric then alpha 1 beta minus here one is symmetric another is anti-symmetric therefore total will be anti-symmetric total wave function will be anti-symmetric other four will be now consider this into alpha one alpha two one is anti-symmetric another is symmetric therefore it is anti-symmetric phi x beta one beta 2 this will be anti-symmetric 6 alpha 1 beta 2 plus alpha 2 beta 1 this will also be anti-symmetric since one part is anti-symmetric another part is symmetric the other part will be psi anti-symmetric and alpha 1 beta 2 minus alpha 2 67 beta 1 since they are both the part are anti-symmetric the total wave function will be symmetric out of this 4 is out of these 4 wave functions 1 2 3 and 8 these total wave functions are symmetric and 4, 5, 6, 7 these are anti-symmetric therefore according to the principle and anti-symmetric principle what we get the total wave function must be anti-symmetric therefore allowed wave functions are these 4, 4, 5, 6 and 7 thank you now let us find out the determinant of a wave function of many electron system from the above discussion we have got that uh, psi 4 is one of the allowed wave function of the two electron system therefore which is equal to psi s and 1 by root 2 alpha 1 beta 2 minus alpha 2 beta 1 and this is equal to this one and if we consider that psi 1 uh, psi 2 equal to 1 s 1 orbital then we can write this to come out of 1 by half then 1s1 and 1s2 plus 1s2 into 1s1 to alpha 1 beta 1 <coughs> both are similar therefore into 1s1 1s2 into alpha 1 and beta 1 therefore we may have 1s1 1s2 into alpha 1 beta 2 minus 1s1, 1s2 it can also be rearranged as for same electron 1s1 and this is the spin of the electron alpha 1 
minus 2 beta 2 minus 1 beta 1 minus 2 alpha 2 this is the side 4 this can be written in the determinant form as this part comes here and this part comes here again this part comes here and beta 2 and 1 is 2 alpha this is the form of the determinant form of the wave function here in the determinant form this is for one electron for electron 1 this portion is for electron 2 in the determinant form the column represent Define spin orbitals and the row represent the electrons. Similarly, for three electron system like lithium atom, we can also find out the determinant form of the LR wave function, total wave function. Let's see how can we determine the determinant form. For three electron, the numeration constant will be 1 by root 3. For the first electron, since in the row, we will write the first electron. For the first electron, you can write as alpha. 1 the first electron may also occupy in the in this orbital it may have and twice s orbital and this will be this. For the second orbital we can have one s2 alpha 2 and one s2 beta 2 2 s2 n alpha 2 1 s3 for the third electron this is for the first electron this so is for first electron for the first electron third electron it may also occupy in the second one s orbital and okay, beta 3 and the third twice s orbital and alpha this is the this row part represent the part electrons and the column represent the spin of electrons spins of electrons thank you for watching